Hey everybody, welcome to Good Witch Intuitive Tarot. Thank you guys for liking, sharing, and subscribing. Much appreciated. This is going to be your weekend reading. This is going to be uh, May 8th to the 10th, 2020. Spirit and Angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages. Stay rooted and grounded. Earth Guardian, stay rooted and grounded. Love it. All right, let's see what's at the bottom. Night, be brave and honest. Wow, okay, so something's probably coming up here. Actually, let's pull a few more. It's the weekend, right? So let's pull a few more. Can I have two more cards, please, for the collective for the upcoming weekend? What did I say it was? The 8th through the 10th. 8th through the 10th. That's Friday through Sunday. Move in a new direction and bottom of the deck. Father Sky, trust in the knowing. Wow, nice. All right, let's talk. All right, so we got Earth Guardian. Stay rooted and grounded. All right, so make sure you get your chakras balanced. Get out and get some um, grounding. Get out there and dig in the dirt. It's a good time to plant flowers. Don't put gloves on. I know it goes against everything we were taught. Wear your gloves. No, you want your hands and your feet in the dirt. All right, just watch the fire ants. Watch whatever you got going on in your area. But good time to get grounded. Um, if you want to, you can jump in a body of water. Um, make a spiritual bath. Uh, meditate. Get those chakras balanced. It's a time to stay rooted and grounded here. Be brave and honest, like the knight. Traveler. This is the traveler. Move in a new direction. So you're be gu being guided in a different direction. Father Sky, trust in the unknown. All right, so here's what a lot of people do. When it's time to move in another direction, you know it. Your intuition's popping. It's telling you, hey, it's time to get going. It's time to get moving. You need to get away from this and over to here. And you're being guided in every way. But we don't trust in the unknown. We'd rather stay with what we know than be brave and honest with ourselves in knowing that it's time to move in another direction. So they're asking you to please trust the unknown that they are getting you to a better place. Stay rooted and grounded because you're going to be called on to make some kind of move. You're going to have to be brave and honest with yourself, maybe with others, and move in a new direction as the traveler. Trust the unknown. It's your intuition's telling you this. You're being guided somewhere else. We're going to get more oracle cards. It's the weekend, right? All right, so spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good. Did I say it was the 8th through the 10th, right? Yes, 8th through the 10th. Anyone for the highest good, please tell us. The 8th through the 10th of May, 2020, the upcoming weekend, Friday through Sunday. What do you want the collective to know here, please? Earth Guardian, Night Traveler, and Sky Father Sky. What do you? What else do you want them to know? <laughs> oh, sorry. I felt that sneeze coming on. The Thinking Woman. <clears throat> Can I have another one, please? What else do you want them to know? The thinking woman. Okay, so this, for you ladies, is something you, I feel like you already know it, um, but you're afraid of the unknown. Don't be afraid of the unknown. Blossoming abundance is coming your way, and magician in the mirror, definitely. All right, so guys, magician in the mirror. Trust in the unknown. Okay, take it. Oh, be brave and honest. Wow. Okay, so be brave and honest. Look, take a good look in the mirror. Take a good look at what you know is right. Be brave and honest as the night magician in the mirror. See what it is that you have to change in your life. Be brave enough. Stay rooted and grounded. Be brave enough to admit whatever it is. The thinking woman, you're already thinking whatever this is because it's going to take you to blossoming abundance. Beautiful. Trust the unknown, because this is where it's taking you. You're really being guided. I'm going to put these up here. 
because we're going to do tarot as well. All right, so really, totally, those, those, um, energy oracle and ancest angels and ancestors they all blend together tell a nice little story here about someone who's very much in their head knowing that they've got to do something different they have to move in another direction and they're going to have to trust the unknown because it's going to take them to blossoming abundance be brave and honest with yourself magician in the mirror stay rooted and grounded and move in another direction because <clears throat> that's where your abundance is all right let's get some let's get some um Let's go with modern spellcasters here. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, for the upcoming weekend, the 8th of May to the 10th of May, 2020, Friday through Sunday, what are the most important messages for the collective? What do they need to know? What does the collective need to know here? Boy, that magician in the mirror is staring me right in the face, right there in the center. Just admitting it to yourself, just acknowledging the fact that you're being guided, just admitting that you have to change direction and really take a good look at yourself, your life, the people around you. Sometimes we have to totally reshuffle the deck of our lives. People got to go, new people got to come in that are more on your vibe, your... Um, spiritual vibe um, sometimes it, it consists of leaving a place leaving an area whatever it is it's a change leaving a job leaving friendships leaving family sometimes it depends on if these people don't have your best and highest good in check like you do theirs it's time to reshuffle all right, let's do it. Spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good for the upcoming weekend, what are the messages for the collective? Please send through the most important messages for the people that need the messages the most for anyone who will be guided here to see this reading and needs it. Okay. <clears throat> Earth guardian, knight, traveler, father sky, thinking woman, magician in the mirror, and blossoming abundance. What do we need to know here? Yeah, fear. Fear. Absolutely. All right, what else? One more. Absolutely. All right, give me one more on the death reverse. Wow. Okay, wow, that's interesting. We had that combination in another reading, but, <coughs> excuse me, um, bottom of the deck. Okay, wow. All right, so let's take a look here. We had this combination that just came out here of the Ten of Chalices and the Ace of Cups, but that in the reading we had... I don't remember what day it was. It might have been Thursday. Or it might have been for a sign. I'm not sure. Could have been for... Oh, gosh, I don't remember. I want to say it was for Cancer, maybe. Or I think I want to say it was Cancer's monthly reading. Could have been Virgo, though. But look, we had Ten of Cups, Ace of Cups. But this time, the Ten of Cups came out reversed. We're going to talk about that. And it came out with the Moon as well. So we're going to talk about that. For most of you, this has to do with family and feeling stuck in something here. Let me take a little look at the past here. <clears throat> oh, gosh, yeah. All right, so, wow, oh, my goodness, we got to talk. All right, there's a lot, there's a lot. It seems to me like you're making a decision to a pentacles. You weighed out the options. You've really been looking at a situation. The light has been shown on a situation. Secrets have come out. You know about it. It's You already see it. High Priestess Reverse and the Sun. The light has been shown on the truth in a matter with the King of Swords here and a third-party situation. 
three of pentacles, three of swords reversed, and this page of cups is all about a third party. So you already know about something having to do with third party interference. Truth is out. Truth is out. This is all about the truth coming out. Could be around a man, um, Aquarius, Libra, Gemini, but for most of you, I think you are this man or you're coming through in your masculine energy of this truth, this honesty, this straight up, you know, the King of Swords, he's no nonsense. He, he speaks the truth. He's about the truth. He also um, could be someone in a legal field, third party, truth's coming out, could be with or around a person, doesn't have to be. Queen of Swords reversed, somebody's really hurt about this, somebody's really upset about this, somebody's really been through it, letting go, this Four of Pentacles in reverse, letting go of a situation where there was lying and spying, Page of Swords reverse, manipulation, Magician reverse, um, information, news, forward movement, something coming in quick, or you're moving forward quickly, moving away from any kind of pain and sadness, loss that you've encountered, not putting any more effort into it, and moving forward with your life. Really nice. All right, so listen, as we're coming into the reading, you've decided, thinking woman, I'm moving forward. I'm going to stay grounded and rooted. I've taken a good look in the mirror. I've taken a good look at the people around me. I'm going to be brave. I'm going to be honest with myself while I look in that mirror. I need to move in a new direction. I'm going to trust the unknown because that's where my blossoming abundance is. This, whatever move you're go going to make or are being told, go, 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 your intuition's telling you. Whatever it is, is taking you to blossoming abundance. Now, keep in mind, blossoming abundance means it's blossoming. It doesn't mean you're going to step out the door or into a new situation and, like, it's all there for you, you know. It's blossoming. It's step one. Everything happens in steps. So, take your first steps, three of wands. You're manifesting in what you're going to do. You've been thinking about it. You know what to do. You know you need to move in a new direction. That's what this Three of Wands is all about. Manifesting that in and getting ready for your journey. Um, if we see the full pop out, we know you're on your way, right? We've got fear. Be brave and honest. Somebody is fearful. We got that strength card, but it came out reverse. Somebody's afraid. Might have to do with family. We got the Six of Cups, and this one's all about family in reverse so there could be an unhappy past here there could be a situation where you have a choice to move towards the past and you decide no the past is not where my happiness lies it's not where my blossoming abundance is I've already been there done that eight of cups you could have had a very hard time it came out reverse moving away from the past you could have been afraid to move away feeling like <clears throat> you don't have enough information Page of Wands reversed. You could have got negative information about the third party situation when the light shone so strongly on this third party and the truth came out. This could have all been a bit of a shock to you. Um, this could have been upsetting news. This could be happening right now for you. Now, keep in mind, third party can be any kind of interference in any part of your life. This could be a third party situation in your love life. This could be a third-party situation around home and family where somebody started trouble. This could be a work situation. It depends on, you know, each individual. But you could know very strongly, no matter what area this is, that you don't want to go back to the past. I feel like you're getting a lot of information. Two of Swords. I love this Two of Swords. My favorite Two of Swords in any deck. See how she's not blindfolded like most Two of Swords, and she doesn't have the swords crossing her heart like we see in all two of swords in almost every deck somebody blindfolded crossing their heart holding back not knowing what to do having to rely on their intuition not knowing what choice to make she knows exactly what to do she is not blindfolded she has seen it all it's all here the light has been shown on everything she knows she's holding the decision behind her back she's not letting anyone know what she's going to do because she's been thinking this is the thinking woman. I've thought long and hard. I've seen it. Magician in the mirror. I've had to be honest about it. 
with myself. I've had to be brave and honest. I know what to do. And then we've got it reversed. Somebody is about to make some kind of huge decision. Now, we don't have a lot of major arcanas. Yeah, we do. We have a lot of major arcanas. We do. We got two here, one here. Yeah, somebody's about to make a big decision. It's going to move them in a new direction. They're going to trust in the unknown and move right towards blossoming abundance. Really beautiful. All right, so someone knows what they want to do about this unhappy past. They felt like they couldn't move away from. They lost their strength. They got upsetting news. They felt very stuck. There's a lot of stuck energy here. Look right here alone. Eight of Cups reverse, death reverse. That's stuck energy. Even this strength card feels stuck to me. See how in the upright she's riding her lion into the future? Um, stuck, stuck, stuck. You've been fearful to move in another direction, but you're going to. I really feel you're going to get it together and move. All right, whatever, in whatever area of life this is, it's been very unhappy. When we have six of cups and ten of cups reversed, this is an unhappy situation. The moon. This unhappiness centers around secrets. It could center around murkiness, things that are unknown, things that, um, you know, you, a lot came out, but maybe not everything, and you're just so unhappy about it. And you're going to move towards a new beginning, Ace of Cups. Now, Ace of Cups doesn't always mean love. I know a lot of readers come, oh, new love's coming in. No. It's happiness. It's joy. It's something you're going to love. The Ace of Cups is commonly known as um, a new opportunity. Yes, it can be in love, but it can be in happiness, where there was no happiness here. All right, a lot of emotional energy, sadness, the moon, the Ten of Cups reverse. You're going to move towards happiness and joy and something you're going to love. That's what the Ace of Cups is, something you're going to love in whatever area it is. It's a new beginning in spirituality as well. It's a new beginning in emotional stability. All right, let's get into it. We're going to clarify this reading. We used modern spellcasters, angels and ancestors oracle, energy oracle, and now we're going to use the silver, silver witchcraft tarot. All right, spirit and angels, anyone for the highest good, please send through the messages for the collective. May 8th to the 10th, 2020, the upcoming weekend, Friday through Sunday. What are the most important messages, please, for the people that need them the most? What are they? Please help me clarify the cards that I've already laid down here to get a real clear picture of what's going on. Please help me deliver messages to the people that need them the most as clearly as possible. <clears throat> For the collective upcoming weekend all right let's do it all right let's look at the strength reversed what is all the fear here why is the strength card reversed Ace of Pentacles, you're afraid to go get your new beginning. Your new beginning's amazing. Ace of Pentacles, something solid and stable and steady. But see the web all around it? You're afraid to break through that web to go do something new. Cobwebs have grown on wherever you've been to the point where you're like, ah, I got to clear these cobwebs to get to that. Yep. But just be brave and honest. Trust in the unknown and move in the new direction. All right, stay grounded, stay rooted. Earth Guardian, this is all this is. You're fearful of the new beginning. You're fearful. This moon is fear as well. I'm fearful. I'm afraid. I'm very emotional about going to this new beginning. Guys, just trust me. If you've been stuck in a cobweb mess, Something that's just going nowhere. Something that's not right for you. 
some the place where you've been mistreated, whatever it is, it's going to be different for everybody. You're being told by your spirit guides, your angels, everyone here saying, trust us, we got you. All right, let's look at the Eight of Cups reversed, because this again is that stuck energy. Why is the Eight of Cups reversed here, please, for the collective for the upcoming weekend? Oh, looky, looky. You've really had time to look at it. You were stuck. You were stagnant. You were looking at things. You were really doing your internal work. You know what you need to do now. You've been getting all these messages. This is back into action. This is like waking up and going, well, I know what to do. Going from uh, stuck, going from stuck, this is both like being purposefully stuck to I'm ready. I'm ready to go. I'm getting unstuck. This is because you did a lot of internal work, which is really good. Let's look at this Page of Wands reversed. Why is the Page of Wands reversed here? Page of Wands in reverse, please. Page of Wands in the reverse for the collective for the upcoming weekend. Ah, well, 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 looky there. Having the strength to release yourself from the devil. Look at that strength in the upright, devil in reverse. Beautiful. All right, guys, it's time. <clears throat> Listen, whatever's going on around you, you may have felt very stuck. The devil's very stuck energy. Very stuck. It's time. Pull on that inner strength because that's what's going to get you out of whatever this stagnant, toxic, stuck stuff was. Be brave and honest with yourself, magician in the mirror, or whoever you need to be honest with and say, hey, I'm getting unstuck. All right, now... You could be getting unstuck because of your child. You could be like, I don't want my child to stay in the stuck energy or my children or whatever. For some of you, that could be the case. For others of you, it's just that you've realized how stuck you've been and you're ready to blossom. Blossoming abundance. You're ready to move forward. That's the theme of the whole reading here. Moving forward. Manifesting in. What do I want to do? Where do I want to go? I want this new beginning. I'm just too afraid to go get it. This is saying you have the power within you to go get that new beginning. Pull on your inner strength and get out of the devil energy, away from the devil energy, move out of something toxic. I want to look at this. Some of you are just stuck in the mindset of the past here. Tell me about the Six of Cups reversed. judgment absolutely absolutely i'm sorry guys hold on i dropped some i dropped some cards all right so judgment absolutely that awakening that aha moment that moment of freedom look at the bird look at how everything looks like uh i don't know what this looks like almost like spirit guides and angels look at them they're like it's spirit stepping in to set you free from something the bird signifies freedom. Free yourself from anything that was unhappy, anything from the past, anything you've been stuck in, even if it's been a mental stuckness. All right, let's look at the Two of Swords reversed. What is this Two of Swords reversed, please? Upcoming weekend for the collective. Why is the Two of Swords here reversed? <clears throat> wow, that just went flying. Five of Chalices reversed. Coming out of it. You're coming out of the grieving, the loss, the sorrow, whatever you were dwelling on. You're making a decision to do it. Look, that five of chalices is in the upright here. We never want to see it in the upright. We want it in reverse. You have made a decision because you see what's going on. You're going to make some kind of a decision to get yourself out of that stuck energy, out of that sorrow, grieving and loss from the past. 
More stuck energy right here. Death card in reverse. Tell me about the death card reversed. Page of Pentacles reverse. I feel like that's just more stuck energy saying, or oh, this is a rejection. If somebody wants to come back and reconcile the past, mm, we could be having someone come back to try and reconcile an unhappy past. But this could be all you freeing yourself from an unhappy past. If somebody wants to come back and reconcile the past, I don't know if you'll do it. With the Page of Pentacles reverse, there's like a rejection here. Let me, or you could be stuck in this stuck energy of feeling rejected in the past. Let's get that Page of Pentacles. Can I please have the Page of Pentacles reverse death card in reverse? They're both reversed. Death and Page of Pentacles. Tell me more about what's going on here. Knight of Pentacles reversed. Yeah, so you've been stuck. This is all stuck energy. Stuck in the past, stuck in an emotional, the emotional baggage of the past. You're, you have a chance to decide on your own. You can, this is your decision to make to release, release this emotional energy. This is a lot of emotional baggage. This is reversed. Now you have that option. It's your choice. It's your choice. You see it for what it is. You can release it. This is all about you releasing the past, all about you releasing where you've been stuck, all about you releasing, oh, absolutely, I want to show you where we end up, bottom of the deck, three of wands, we end up with the advice. The advice was, manifest your forward movement, manifest in what you want, manifest in the direction you want to go. Stop investing in the grieving sadness, sorrow of the past, of the third party, the interference, the people who did you dirty. Stop investing in it. Time to move forward. Spirit says, it's your time. It's your time. You're the thinking woman. You, oh, and if you're a man, same thing. Just, you know, thinking woman showed up. That's because most of you are going to be women. The thinking person, the magician in the mirror, be brave enough to be honest with yourself, look in the mirror, stay rooted and grounded with the earth guardian, move in another direction, a new direction, says the traveler. This is moving in a new direction. You got it three times now. Move in another direction. And right under that, eight of wands. Can't make this up. Moving right towards quickly. And we started with eight of wands as well, right next to the five of cups here. Move, move, move away from the grieving, away from the sadness of the past, and look what's behind it. Look where this person will be moving. That's how it looks. Moving right into the Ten of Chalices, not in the reverse, not in the reverse, where it is here. You're moving to the Ten of Chalices in the upright. Happiness, joy, peace. This is all manifesting that forward movement and then actually doing it. you got to actually do it. It's really funny how you have it. You have to trust in the unknown because it's taking you right towards blossoming abundance. Blossoming abundance, happiness, joy, peace. Towards a beginning that could end up being everything you've ever dreamed of. Your Ace of Cups, your Ten of Cups. I mean, this is where this is all going to take you. I want to um, just show you something. Okay, so the Three of Wands is right here was your overall energy. And the Eight of Wands is your overall energy at the end. Okay, the bottom of your clarifying deck. Three of Wands, Three of Wands. Can't make that up, right? Right under that Three of Wands is the Eight of Wands. Do it quickly. Move forward quickly. It'll take you right to your Blossoming Abundance, your Ten of Cups, your Ace of Cups. Look at this. Right under these first couple cards, Eight of Wands as well. Quickly, quickly, quick, quickly. Move away from. What do they want you to move away from? The Magician Reversed, the Page of Swords, the Holding On that was toxic, the Lack of Clarity, the Lies, the Third Party, Interference, the Truth Came Out, the Secrets, the Sun's Been Shining on That, and to Make a Decision. Alright, so all this is taking you to where you're supposed to be. The problem is you've been stuck stuck in whatever this is. 
Whatever this is, you've been stuck in it. I feel like you're being given full access by your spirit guides or angels. This is judgment card saying, hey, we're giving you an opportunity to move away from the past. Do this. This is where we're guiding you. We're pushing you. We're telling you trust in the unknown because it's going to take you blossoming abundance. It's not going to you're not going to walk into this beautiful abundant world overnight it's taking you to a blossoming of abundance this is going to pr proceed over time over time you're going to start seeing your life change this ten of cups is no longer going to be in the reverse you're not going to be sad you're already told what this decision this decision that you already know you have to make is going to take you out of the five of chalices out of the loss, out of the grieving, out, out of the sadness from whoever did you wrong in the past that you've been so stuck. stuck. I mean, look at all the stuck energy. We have the uh, Death card reverse, the Page of Pentacles reverse, the Knight of Pentacles reverse. We have um, the Six, or I'm sorry, no, there was something. Oh, here it is. The Eight of Chalices reverse right in the center of your reading saying this is all about how stuck you've been this whole reading because that's the center of your reading that has to do with everything this is all about spirit wanting you to get unstuck get out of that you've had enough time to look at it you're done looking at it you know what you need to do your intuition is popping you already know the answer she knows what to do it's just a matter of actually doing it and you're going to. I really feel like you're going to. This is a lot of stuck energy. And this could have come by some because of something that happened in a family. This could have also happened in the past. This could have been somewhere where you were. Somebody interfered. There was definitely third-party interference in this reading. I mean, three in a row saying, don't miss this. This is Spirit saying to me, don't miss the fact that this was third-party. This was three people. Something happened here. It could have been more. But there was, at the very least, three people. Somebody interfered here in whatever this is, whatever area of life this is for you. For a lot of you, this feels like a family situation. Definitely. It doesn't feel, you know, it feels more, it, it doesn't feel like deep love related. It feels more like family related, if that makes sense. For some of you, yeah, could have been deep love, but there's no love here. You know what I mean? It's time to move on. It's definitely time to go. Time to go. No longer investing. No longer investing in this. You had that here too, as well. Wait, where did it go? Here it is, right here. Right here. No longer investing in this. It's time for you to move forward and invest in something brand new and do it quickly. Eight of Wands saying, just run as fast as you can because we have something really good for you. The quicker you get to it, Eight of Wands again, the quicker you get to it, the quicker you start blossoming that abundance. Anyway, I know this was a long reading. Sorry, you guys. Let's see what comes next. What comes next for this weekend reading for the collective? For anyone that's going to resonate with this reading, what comes next? Healing. Oh, Ugh, way too many. So there's a healing coming. I bent that. All right, what else? One more. Okay, we got two. All right, look. This is I win. All right, this could be you overcoming this. But this also means if there was anybody that wasn't treating you right, they want you to move away from them quickly. If someone has been manipulating you, that's the same thing as the Magician Reverse. The same thing as the Page of Swords Reverse. Somebody who is manipulating you, spying on you, lying to you. This is you. This is them and you moving quickly away from them. They're in two different directions here. You got the Eight of Wands three times saying, do this quickly. Come on, come on, it's time. It's, it's judgment again. This is your angel spirit guides. This is... Um, Archangel Gabriel blowing the horn on this situation saying please wake up wake up judgment it's time it's time for you it's like the day of reckoning the day of wake up please move away from this unhappy past we are asking you to move into a space of real healing 
which means you're going to have to move quickly away from anyone who mistreated you. And we are going to take you to Blossoming Abundance. And your Ten of Cups again at the bottom of the deck. You are being guided in so many ways to this Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. They want you to know you will be taken to the Ace of Cups, Ten of Cups. But you're going to have to trust in the unknown. Trust it. Even though you don't know what it is, the moon. Father Sky says, we have your back. Trust in the unknown and move towards it. How many cards have moved towards the unknown have you had here? A lot. You've had three of wands, three of wands, eight of wands, eight of wands. Okay, you're also being told, trust in the unknown. Make these swift moves. Get Manifest in what you want and move towards it quickly because what we're going to send you is going to be really, really beautiful. Ten of chalices, ace of chalices, ten of chalices again. I mean, all this is what's due to come to you. Oh, don't forget this ten of chalices. You also had that three times. Yes, it was in reverse over here. But you're going to get it. We're being told you're getting it. You had them both here in the upright. You're getting this. You're going to have to make the moves to get it, though. It's not going to come knock on your door. No way will this knock on your door. You're going to have to trust in your spirit guides and angels who are guiding you from every which way all right judgment judgment both in the upright please we're blowing the horn on this we want you to rise from the ashes get up yes the situation could have nearly killed you but we got your back we have your back anyway i hope this helps you guys i think it will i mean if you guys bust the moves you're being told to bust here i honestly think you're going to go through some go towards something so great you're going to look back at this time and be like, wow, I'm so happy I made the moves I was being encouraged to make. You've had enough time to think about it. So says the center of your reading. You've been stuck long enough. They're asking you, please go from being stuck to getting back into action. It's like an awakening. When I see this hanged man and the judgment twice here. With all these other beautiful cards, it's like an awakening of sorts. Like waking up and going, oh, I know what to do. Waking up going, I know what to do. All right? So, be this person. She's like a warrior. She knows exactly what to do. Beautiful. Okay, guys, let me know um, if this resonated with you. Angels, what advice or what do you want anyone that resonated with this reading to focus on please do you have any advice for them or what do you want them to know oh wow there was a purpose for the entire thing this purpose was all about your growth no one goes through this for nothing this there was a purpose to this oh be willing to be spontaneous willingness spontaneity an adventure oh my gosh these are all cards of just do it adventure willingness and spontaneity so you're being asked to be spontaneous and consider it an adventure because spirit says father sky trust in the unknown just trust us we're going to take you to the right place be brave and honest with yourself choose a new direction and just keep yourself grounded on the journey all right okay guys i hope this was helpful i know it was long i appreciate you guys watching it please let me know if it resonated with anyone if you feel like this is your reading comment down below i'd love to hear from you um stay exchanging energy with me always keeps you guys coming out in these readings um please like share subscribe if you enjoyed the reading anyway i'll talk to you soon have a great weekend okay bye